Hello there, it is Jay Hud, and coming up on the show today, we're actually going to be checking in with a couple great bands that I like to um, actually play on the Homeboy Show quite a bit. Michael Seeger and everybody's favorite band, which I'd have to add, honestly, have one of the hottest keyboard players I've ever seen in my life. Also, Robots in the Garden, we're going to be checking in with Kyle, who's at a great clothing store in downtown Detroit, you may have heard of it, Showtime Clothing. And then Carrie is hanging out at a couple cool bars, which is the Old Shillelagh and Rochester Mills Brewery. We're going to be checking in with her in just a bit, too. Here we are in Royal Oak at Lily's Seafood. This place has been independently owned since 1999. And one of my personal favorites on this awesome menu is the smoked salmon Reuben. You cannot go wrong with that. Also, if you had a rough Saturday night, you know we are in Royal Oak. This place makes for a good Sunday morning because they had the best Bloody Marys. You gotta try this thing. And it helps cure a hangover, of course. We're gonna be checking in now with Kyle, who is at Showtime Clothing in downtown Detroit. Hey guys, it's Kyle and this is Fashion Forward. I'm on Woodward Avenue in Detroit at Showtime Clothing. Showtime Clothing in Detroit represents the apex of rock culture and fashion. Dan Tatarian, the owner, has made an art form out of dressing musicians and entertainers for over 20 years. I moved back here from New York in 1989 and rented out this location. And we started out as a vintage clothing store. And I noticed mostly like glam bands, rock and roll bands were coming in. So we slowly changed our genre into rock and roll clothing. Dan's passion for dressing you to the nines is apparent, as he's got an eye for helping you find the perfect pair of leather boots to match your rocker denim, or the perfect accessory to really make your outfit pop. Some people want a Jimi Hendrix look, some people want a Doors look, some people are Led Zeppelin. You know, everyone has their vibe, and then some people are totally individual then, and they want to go off onto some look that no one's doing. It's like beyond reasonable, but when they get done, it's cool. When I first started coming here, I was looking more for the gothic type stuff, but uh, actually uh, I've noticed it's, I, I kind of like cross between styles. It kind of goes well with the band. His stock is a collection of all things music, including an assortment of beautiful guitars. We started carrying instruments because we were selling a lot of the musicians, and it was the next step. And to make the store into a music store, clothing store, all around entertainer store. You have to have everything they want. This is the this is like the, the greatest closet on earth. And you'll fall in love either with the store, you might fall in love with Dan. This is one of the most unique and satisfying shopping experiences you will ever have. Detroit is lucky to have a treasure trove like Showtime. You can check out Showtime at 5708 Woodward Ave in Detroit. That's it for your Fashion Forward. I'm Kyle with Real Detroit and the Spec Street team. Thank you, Kyle. They have some pretty interesting and awesome things down there at Showtime Clothing. Now, I'd have to say, this is my personal favorite time of the show, you know, hosting the Homeboy Show on 89X. I know firsthand how awesome the local music scene is here in Detroit. And we have two bands, actually, to showcase for you. Robots in the Garden and Michael Seeger and everybody's favorite band. Gasper and Carrie are going to be talking to these guys. Gasper Rubino here for Real Detroit Weekly and the Specs Howard Street Team. Today, I am at Metro 37 Studios for a great local band that's on its way up talking about Michael Seeger and everybody's favorite band. They have quickly been building a loyal following of fans performing at shows all over Metro Detroit. Today they're hosting a special party for their fans at Metro 37 Studios where they're also filming their new video. Two couples that just love music that are just really into our band and they're just trying to get to our show and they're just having the worst time really getting here. They're going to be shooting the people that are here for our show tonight and they're going to be in the music video and they'll be shooting us performing. We've only been on the Detroit scene for a short time but they're already on the verge of breaking out. Been together for I don't know almost a year now. We decided that, that we were everyone's favorite band whether they knew it or not. The band will be giving out CDs from the performance tonight to each of their fans attending as a way to say thanks. Well, make sure you find out why this is becoming everybody's favorite band. I'm Gas Rubino for Real Detroit Weekly and the Specs Howard Street Team. What have you guys been up to lately? What have you been doing? Uh, we've just been writing a lot. We're actually going to St. Paul, Minnesota this summer to record a full-length uh, record at McNally Smith University. So we're just trying to get enough material together for a full-length record. What are you going to do in the meantime? Are you going to play a bunch of shows around here? we got a bunch of shows. You can check them out at myspace.com slash that robot band. What is your plan after you record your new album? What, what do you guys want to do from there? Uh, I think we're just going to push it as much as we can. Um, a, a tour, a record deal would be nice, you know. Um, I, I want to get some radio love. 
I just want to move out of my mom's basement. 25, <laughs> you know, it's ridiculous. What do you guys think of the Allen Park crowd? Oh, it's really, it's actually cool. We're hoping that maybe we can work something out with these guys and shoot a, a music video here, so. Now, everyone down the river is super nice. I mean, I like them all. We're big fans of the down river crowd, right? Right. Great, thank you guys very much. Thank you. Well, by the looks of it, March is going to be a busy month, and if electronic music is your thing, you're going to want to check out Yacht at the Crowfoot in Pontiac. That is happening on March 3rd, and art, art and music go together. So the fairy tale theme, Glass, Cinder, and Thorn show is happening at 323 East Gallery in Royal Oak on March 20th. And the Detroit Young Professionals annual award show, the Vanguard Awards, is happening on March 25th. And last but not least, everybody's favorite day to party and drink, St. Patrick's Day. And the St. Patrick's Day Parade is happening in Corktown on March 17th. The Lager House and Corktown Tavern are both going to have music all day. And speaking of music, drinking St. Patrick's Day, let's throw it to Carrie at the Old Shillelagh. I'm at the Old Shillelagh for another Raise the Bar. I came here to find out what to drink on St. Patrick's Day. I'm here with Jenny, and Jenny is about to make me an Irish apple. Jenny, what's in an Irish apple? Jameson's, apple pucker, and cranberry juice. What does it taste like? It's delicious. And what is the hangover like? I think all hangovers are pretty much the same. How early would you say the party gets started on St. Patrick's Day? 7 o'clock in the morning. People are lined up out the door. What would you say is the most popular shot to have on St. Patrick's Day? We do a lot of the Irish apples. A lot of people love the car bombs, too. I'll see you here on March 17th. I'm Carrie for the Spec Street Team and Real Detroit Weekly. Well, I think we've all stumbled out of the old shillelagh before. Now, Sponge, Critical Bill, and ICP, just a few of the bands that are helping Real Detroit Weekly celebrate 11 years. Their birthday bash happening at the Majestic Complex right now, and we actually have a red carpet event happening. It's your birthday, your birthday, happy birthday. I'm Nicole Petruska for the Specs Howard Street Team. Tonight, I'm here in Detroit at the Majestic Theater Complex for Real Detroit Weekly's birthday party. There may not be an actual red carpet, but this is where Detroit party people have come to. Almost everyone in the city seems to be here, to which Real Detroit Weekly, a Happy 11th birthday. Carrie is already inside mingling with the crowd. I'm inside the Garden Bowl where there are plenty of well wishes to go around. Happy birthday, Real Detroit! Woo -woo! Happy birthday, Real Detroit! Hooray! Happy birthday, Real Detroit! Here's to another hundred, hundred thousand years of successful Real Detroit magazines hitting the streets everywhere in Detroit. Thanks, buddy. Happy birthday, Real Detroit! Hip, hip! Hooray! Happy birthday, Real Detroit. Happy birthday. Hep, hep, hep. Hooray! The party seems to be in full swing now. I'm Nicole Petruska for the Spex Howard Street Team and the Real Detroit Show. Well, one thing Michigan is known for is its local breweries, and I think it's safe to say that the stuff that's made inside these can count for a lot of good times and bad times, depending on how you can use it. Now, Carrie is hanging out at the Rochester Mills Brewery. Let's check in with her. Tonight, we're at the Rochester Brewing Company in downtown Rochester. It is located in the historic Western Knitting Mill. The brewery has all the features of the original building, but the difference lies on the inside. The menu features a broad selection of American cuisine, all prepared with the freshest ingredients. Basically, all across the board, we have pizzas, steaks, pastas, salads. Like, we don't really focus on one main dish here. We have a, pretty much a stretch all across the board. From delectable appetizers to delicious entrees, the menu has something for everyone. One of the things in our menu that food is paired with beers here and uh, what, you know, seafoods go good with what beers and, you know, the light beers with, uh, you know, steaks and it is all paired out on our menu and it's all pretty much described if you read the menu. If you're a beer connoisseur, then the beer selection here is one to die for. You can try one of their samplers and choose your favorite. Then you can take it home in a can, bottle, or growler. That's it for me tonight. So if you're looking for great local beer and good food, be sure to check out the Rochester Mills Brewing Company. I'm Carrie Adcock for the Specs Howard Street Team and Real Detroit Weekly. All right, that's going to do it for me, Jay Hud, here at Lily Seafood in downtown Royal Oak. On behalf of myself, the Specs Howard Street Team, and Real Detroit Weekly, we'll catch you next time.